Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist for Fonz and Porter. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the quilt Triangle Party. In order to get the pattern for this project, go to our website. We are going to be working with some absolutely bright and beautiful colors um, and we're going to pair it up with navy blue to make those colors really dance across the quilt. What a party. <laughs> so we're going to have those six inch strips. We're going to be using um, a triangle template that is devised so we can cut really accurate triangles and I have one here. It is set up so that you can cut off of strips that are two inch or two and a half inch, two and three eighths, four and a quarter or six inch. And that's actually marked right on the tool so that you won't have to worry about where are the directions for how to use that. So we're going to be using six, six inch strips here and we are going to place that then along the long cuts edge of our six inch strip. And we're going to go in and we're going to cut seven triangles from each of the prints. So we're going to be cutting, I'm going to cut double layer here so we can cut the first six. And then you want to rotate this so you're always working in a safe direction. And if you get, once you get a little confidence, you could stack up layers of fabric and cut multiples at once. So we have one. And then we can come in and cut the second, which would mean we have four. Once again, we're going to have two more, so that's six. And then we're going to have to remember to open up our fabric and cut one because we need seven altogether. So we'll come in here, open up our strip gently, and cut the last piece from this. Now we aren't done with the strip because we do have more fabric here. And we want to make small triangles also. So we are going to take these triangles then and put those into the stack that so we're going to use for piecing. And we're going to take our regular ruler and we're going to come in and we're going to change the width of the strip now to two and three eighths. And on our ruler it has three and three eighths inch strip. So this is the size we want next. So we'll trim this down. Great way to use all of our fabrics here. Okay, so this is going to go into our scraps and we'll have this narrow strip and now we're going to be using the tool to cut again off of the strip but we're going to take small triangles this time and we cut them in the same manner we did the large ones, just alternating back and forth down the rest of our strip and then cut the required. Reference your pattern for all the details there. Okay, we'll set these aside. You're going to be cutting strips also from the navy blue fabric. Same manner, large triangles, small triangles. So this comes in really handy for cutting them very efficiently. Okay, now we are going to take the small triangles first and we're going to create um, look, look, what looks like a pyramid. So what we're gonna do and now we're going to use them in different um, color combinations, but the first one we're going to focus on has the navy blue in the center. We're going to put together a unit like this with one more piece and make a larger triangle. So the piecing for this is simple. We just lay them right sides together. We're going to come in and sew a quarter inch seam. Now remember you're working with triangles, it means you have bias edges. You want to be very careful with the fabric, very gentle. You don't want to pull or stretch while you're sewing or pressing. You'll get a distorted triangle. Okay, so now that I've got a quarter inch seam there, I'm going to take it over to the ironing board and I'm going to do something just a little bit different than I normally do. Normally I would just heat, this, heat set this and press the seam allowances to one side. But in this case, we want you to press the seam allowances open. So something we're not used to doing a lot of is to come in and gently open up that seam and press it flat. And if you look at the quilt, you'll notice there's a lot of intersections, a lot of seams coming together. So if we open them up, we'll reduce the bulk and we'll get a better end product. So we've got one side attached. We would do the same thing, second side, third side. Now, a lot of times we come in and we 
trim away these little dog ears, those little triangles that stick out. In this case, don't for now. Leave them on, because if you notice, when I lay this triangle on top, that little dog ear gives me direction to know that I've matched it perfectly here. And the same thing will appear also when we do it here. We lay this one up. That little dog ear underneath there is where we're trying to reach to. And that tells us right in there is our quarter inch seam. So sometimes it's good to leave them behind. We're trying to get to a block that looks like this. Okay, now you can see here all the seams are pressed open, nice and flat. And then we are going to make combinations of these. Follow your pattern, you're going to make, um, some of them are going to be with three prints and the navy blue. Some are going to be navy blue, three of these, and a print in the center. So what we want to do is create a piece that looks like this. And in order to join those together, it's the same exact piecing as you did with your standard little triangles here. You're just going to lay them right sides together, sewing through here. And you'll notice that when you get to that intersection, they should be right, one right on top of the other. And if you want to double check, what you do is drop a pin in right at that intersection on the one block or one piece of the unit, come through to the bottom, right at the tip, drop the pin through there, and you've pin matched them perfectly, one over the top of the other. Now don't rock that pin back and take a bite into it. Leave that one there as a pole, like the North Pole, and then come in and pin this way, and then you can take this one out. And it will give you a perfect point when you stitch that and open it up. Okay, we've got a piece of that already prepared, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I've already put it in with um, some of the other, with the navy blue. So this is our section we created. If you isolate it, there's one triangle. There's the second and the third. And we've put in the navy blue large triangles, same piecing throughout, and some of the lar um, large print ones. Now, when we want to go to start joining rows together, oops, I got this one upside down. Let's turn it around. When we start to join our rows, we have to make sure that we're alternating a print and a navy, print and a navy, navy, print, back and forth like this. The way that we joined pieces together when we were pin matching, it's the exact sem same technique we'll do when we join the rows together. So if we're laying one on top of the other, like this, to join these into a row, same thing, pin down through, create that pole here, match the triangle tip on the other side, down through, then pin together this way, and remove the pole. You can go down through each of the intersections, creating that same um, holding effect by pinning. Now, once you've had that seam together, I'll show you what it's going to look like little shorter version, but at least we can see that when we went through this seam, we matched down through, pressed our seam allowances, again, still open, reducing that bulk, and then we get nice intersections here. Now, this would be the same as the um, top uh, left-hand corner of your quilt in the diagrams, and you'll notice this is an uneven line, <laughs> and we want our quilt to be a nice clean rectangle when we're finished. So what I've done, I've already drawn a line in here just to remind me to show you how to straighten that outer edge. Because this is the scary part. You've got the entire quilt top put together and you're thinking, but I have to cut the outer edge and I don't want to make a mistake. So here's what we're going to do. At these intersections, you'll notice there's a little bit of a space. Should be about a quarter inch here. And we're going to want to be a quarter inch down from the top here and so I'm going to put in my ruler one quarter inch out from those intersections. And if you had an entire quilt top, you would use a longer ruler and continue on and connect dots. But a quarter inch in, a quarter inch from each section there. And then you would just take your rotor cutter with confidence, slice all the way down and take this away. And now that matches the diagram you see in your pattern. Once you've got everything, um, all the rows connected, we finished with a navy blue binding, and that is Triangle Party. For more of our video tutorials, 
visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.